Gomez will swing this free kick and it's a great ball, he's offside, it's in the back of the net but he is offside and it will not count, it was Ramis with the header, it will not count. Managed to poke it straight to Watson who gives it to Gomez, it's a terrific pass from him, he's cut open the City defence and Matt Jew with a wonderful save, he's managed to get a hand on that and take it off the toe of uh, Baselli and that was a wonderful intervention from the keeper. Gomez again, out wide to the right hand side. Crossing chance, Stan will put it in, it's a decent ball and City haven't dealt with it, Gomez over the bar from eight yards out. Should score. Good work from Hansen and Wells, they've almost forced a mistake, can Wells get in? Ooh. Oh he was so close, the goalkeeper Ali Alhabsi had to come sliding out and he knocks it out for a throw, Naki Wells so close to nicking that and putting City ahead. Gets hold of it, looks Go to in Hansen, could be a chance, Hansen's in behind here, goes down under a challenge and the referee says no penalty kick. I tell you what, I don't think he played the ball, Hansen went down very easily. Into the feet of Gomez who pops his pass off first sign, crossing opportunity for Wigan, it's a good ball in, it's come to the back stick and it's been headed right. over the bar and that was a chance for Danny Redmond who's not really been in the game much tonight. And Connell, go on son, from go on son. Way down the right hand side, Savon Hines, go on, take him he's got Hansen in support Watson. but he might be able to get on his own, he's one on one into on. the box, Savon Hines goes on the outside, finish. can he finish? No, oh, oh the God, God, made the, the save and that might well have been the moment for City, Savon oh Hines carrying it from halfway. Played five minutes of the end of time, this is a chance Gomez is through and he's put it wide of the target, how did he miss? Wow. Come on, Doyle. Nathan Doyle, the captain scores! <laughs> City are ahead in the shootout. Come on Juki. He has had a wonderful it. night, Matt Duke. Can He'll he save this? He'll Jones against Duke and he scores. One apiece. Gary Jones, right footed. He scored. He tucks it away into the bottom left hand corner. That is a fantastic penalty. And he turns and he salutes the City supporters. And they are on their feet. 5,000 of them. Ben Watson against on, Matt Duke. He makes himself big, the keeper. And he's straight down the middle. And Wigan score. Stephen Darby for City. Yes, scored! It's another great penalty! Duke is big, Come Maloney on, steps up, yeah! and he's Come he's on! He's missed! So Maloney has missed! And the City lead 3-2 in the shootout! Alan Connell, make yourself a hero! Oh, score, please! He yes! scores in the top Come corner! On! Alan Connell! And the City Come players on. are celebrating, they are nearly there! City lead in the shootout, 4-2. Come on, Duke, you save it! The left footer on, Juki, against it. Duke. Save it. He steps up. Yeah! And he's safe in. Yeah! And City have them out. Yeah! City are through to the quarterfinals yeah! of the League Cup. <laughs> Everybody is on their feet. Matt Duke is being fans. chased down the touchline. The what fans. a night. <laughs> the fans, 5,000 of them, are going absolutely wild. Wow, what a night, by the way. Get in there! Look at the supporters. I am almost that speechless. Is outstanding, by the way. An incredible night. Just set the lads in the dressing room that the supporters we had tonight. You now Dino's with you. He knows what the support's like at the club. That's why everybody came to this club because of the support we can get, and uh, that's just a taste of it. And. Uh, you know, the momentum, I can feel it building in the, in the city and in and around the club. The way we keep that going is by keep winning games of football, and that's what we've got to do. Uh, but we're really pleased tonight, and the lads are absolutely elated, as you can imagine. It's going to be hard to bring them back down to earth. Uh, but for tonight, I don't want to bring them back down to earth. I want them to enjoy it, because uh, they've put in some great great performances all over the side. Yeah, so there must be some tired legs in there, but some happy hearts and heads in there. There must be a buzzing atmosphere. Yeah, there was some tired legs. Um, you know, Naki's hamstrings tightened up, and you know, Zav cramped up with his calf. But when you've got 5,000 fans behind the goal cheering you on and you're tired, it did not urge you on for that extra bit. And uh, I think that's what you saw tonight, you know, that uh, the lads didn't want to let the supports down. They wanted to do the club proud, and they certainly did that. And we've got our rewards for a terrific display. Yeah, we have to really touch on the crowd. It was an unbelievable following yeah, from, from the way support, yeah. making a noise throughout the full, you know, the normal time and extra time as well. Yeah, well, I said yesterday, I can't remember too many times it was a managerial career or playing career that a team's taken 5,000. In fact, on, on the travels, it was just terrific. I think the Wigan players and the Wigan supporters were a bit shocked. I think the, the Wigan bench were certainly shocked at the level of support we had tonight. So it was great, and I thank every single one of them who made that trip across the M62. And the penalties as well. Um, you know, obviously, when you're going up against a top flight, side you always edge them perhaps it was us who scored all our penalties and, and them who actually missed the two yeah I thought we kept cool heads tonight and um 
kind of feel confident because we've done so well in penalty shootouts. Really pleased for Manchu. Um, you know, juki has been out the team, unfortunately, been out the G- team. But while he's been out, he's kept his professionalism absolutely spawn. The way he's uh, coached John and the other keepers, being first class, and he deserves his night, his moment of glory tonight because his all-round performance was excellent. I thought he played with a very calm head which kind of spread through the back four and then to make a the, the crucial save is fantastic for him and he can really save it tonight Yeah so when obviously Matt made that, that crucial save to get through what, what was your feelings then at the moment, that particular moment? I'm oh, just so pleased for, for the lads and it's just a great reward for the efforts they put in and um, you know, like I said we're all ecstatic about it because to get into the last eight from a club in the second division I think Swindon have gone out tonight so we're the only club outside the championship you know, into that last eight and you know, what a night tomorrow's going to be when we can watch the, the game on TV and then wait for the draw and uh, you know, surely we're going to get that real money spinning draw now. And it's an amazing record now on penalties. It's seven on trot for the club and five since you've been. It really is an amazing you know, record from penalties. Yeah, um, we can't praise the lads enough because there's a lot of pressure tonight because they've, they've gone you know, against the Premiership team in front of a big crowd and the coolness they showed and the composure. You know, look at young Stephen Darby, the way he's thrown up, got us through the last round with his, with his goal against Burton. Let's not forget that. I thought his performance was very good tonight as well. Yeah, and you've mentioned Matt Duke, Stephen Darby there, Zavon Hines, Carl McHugh. You know, just, just too many heroic performances to mention there. The, you know, from, from minute one to, to minute 120, the, the lads were superb. Yeah, every, every one of them, let like say, Carl McHugh at the back was immense, absolutely immense. I mean, you know, a young lad to come into the game of this magnitude and uh, play as well as he did and uh, he's a good defender he's strong but he's calm and uh, he made good decisions to make. and what we what we forced for the game obviously as the game seemed to go on there was that belief that we could you know, more and more that we could get something out of the game, they were throwing more men on, they were, you know, trying to get some of their experienced players on the bench, and we, we seemed to cope with everything they threw at us. For the first 15 minutes, they caused us problems with their, with their movement, and we kind of got better as the game wore on, and, and it was like adapting to the, the style of play we were playing against. When you, you come up against the, the last couple of games, obviously Northampton and Burton, and play a certain way, all of a sudden it's a completely different game tonight, and it took us a while to adapt. But we did that really well, and we said to the lads at the half time of the extra time, you know, let's not be a team who uh, gets a pat on the back at the end and say, you know, well done, you're unlucky tonight because we can go and win the game. And we really felt that. And uh, you know, the last thing I wanted to do was go and have a drink with the uh, Wigan staff and then uh, say, you know, your team did well tonight, but we've gone out. You know, because we felt we could go through. Certainly, when we come that far into extra time.